Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and maybe staying dry. As you can tell, there's not quite as much natural light coming in this direction because it's thundering outside and there's just no light out there. It's just the, the epitome of darkness surrounding us. So, so we're going to shed some light on this situation, I think, with God's Word. My name's Pastor Gordon Alman of Trinity Lutheran Church in Scarsdale, New York. You can find us at trinityscarsdale.org. This is another episode of my series, Sanctified with a Psalm. Today we're looking at Psalm 66 and hymn 525 from the LSB, hymn 525 from the Lutheran Service Book. And again, hopefully this, this uh, live stream holds out in this storm we have going on. So, uh, oh, let me uh, make my address. Grace and mercy and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who went to the cross for us, who shed his blood for us, who washed us clean in that same blood by those holy waters of our baptism to declare us kings and priests to serve him who made us, who sustains us, who sanctifies us in his word to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be all glory, honor, and dominion. Here's the psalm. Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies come cringing to you. All the earth worships you and sings praises to you. They sing praises to your name. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds toward the children of man. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There did we rejoice in him who rules by his might forever, whose eyes keep watch on the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept our soul among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us, you have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, yet you have brought us out to a place of abundance. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will perform my vows to you, that which my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fattened animals with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Come and hear, all you who fear God, and I will tell what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and high praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly, God has listened. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. Blessed be God, the Lord of lords and King of of kings, the one who declares each one of us to be kings and priests, those of us who he has given his word. That is the crown of righteousness. That is the keepers of this most sacred word, which is set apart, that is holy, because it is his, and he sanctifies us in the same. So we respond with joy with him, 525, crown him with many crowns. Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. Hark how the handy anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake, my soul, and sing of him who died for thee. 
and hail him as thy matchless king through all eternity. Crown him the virgin son, the God incarnate born, whose arm those crimson trophies won, which now his brow adorn. Fruit of the mystic rose, yet of that rose the stem, the root whence mercy ever flows, the babe of Bethlehem. Crown him the Lord of love, behold his hands and side. Rich wounds yet visible above, in beauty glorified. No angels in the sky can fully bear that sight, but downward bend their wandering eyes at mystery so bright. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed o'er the grave, and rose victorious in the strife for those he came to save. His glories now we sing, who died and rose on high, who died eternal life to bring, and lives that death may die. Crown him the Lord of Ham, enthroned in worlds above, Crown him the king to whom he is given the wondrous name of love. Crown him with many crowns as thrones before him fall. Crown him, ye kings, with many crowns, for he is king of all. You can just picture it as well. I don't know if the, the sound effects of the thunder in the background there is even adding to this image all the more. The thunderous and powerful praise and adoration of our Lord and God and King who sits on the throne now and forever, surrounded by the four living creatures and the elders and all believers, angels and archangels, just laying their praises before him, those who walked before, to whom Christ has even given the crown of righteousness, laying their crowns before him because it is from him from whom we receive our crowns in the first place, the King of Kings. The Lord bless the rest of your day and be with you and sanctify you in his word. Perhaps we'll see you next time for another episode of my series, Sanctified with a Psalm. God be with you. We'll see you soon.